Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. We're continuing on with our getting started guide for uh, PDQ products. Uh, we're on step 15, and this is the second step of showing the true power of inventory, which I love, inventory is great. And we're gonna go into reporting, which is gonna be a, a, another tool you can add to your arsenal is gonna make it so you are more aware of what's going on in your environment. And if you have a manager that is curious about such things, you can keep him up to date, automated without having to actually talk to said manager. If you want to talk to him, you can still talk to him. You just won't have to talk to him about your environment because you'll have that in a report. So we're going to go new report, basic report. You can do SQL reports. I don't know SQL, so I rarely do that one. But if you have the ability to write in SQL, good on you. You can get really granular with that. You can do some fantastic things. But where I'm just doing a basic report, we're going to come in to do filters. We just all and do application contains notepad plus plus. For no other reason, that's what I did in the collections video, and I lack creativity to come up with new things. I better give it a name, though. So hit, instead of hitting state, uh, save, whew, got that one out there. I can hit run report just so I can see the results. You can see here, right now, all this giving me is the name of a computer. These are the computers that do, in fact, have Notepad++. But if we go back to define, we can come to the columns, and we can get a bit more granular. So we could do the application name, Going to go back and do application again. This time we're going to choose the version. And we'll run that report. So now we're going to get a list of all the machines that have it. The application name. And as you can see, the name of Notepad++ puts 32 or 64 within, within the parentheses within the name. I don't like that, but they've done it. So there it is. And as well as the application version, you, you can see we got a couple. And this is where it gets a little bit uh, more powerful or one of the cooler things you got. You can come into that one and you can just group by the column and it's gonna give you every version it finds and then you can open it up and you can see these two machines have 8.3.3, these 19 have 8.4.5 and this one, Ant-Man, is the only one that is up to date at 8.4.6. So now we know overall there's, what is that, 22 computers that have Notepad++, but we can see which ones are lacking or need an upgrade and which ones have all the information we want. So the, the grouping is kind of nice. It kind of gives you a better view of what's in there. That's nice. We're in the port. But how do we make it so we can always, always uh, get that data or get it where we want to go? Uh, there's a couple of options on that one. If you have set up email on this one, you can come in auto attached to or attached to auto reports. You can set this report to run on a schedule. And when it's done, it will email out the results. And it'll give that file in a CSV format or whatever format you choose out to whoever needs to get that one. First, we're gonna save this report and we'll kind of, I don't know if I'm supposed to go into auto reports yet. Run back. I'll just go back to save this one and it's like, and the other option, if you don't want to attach it to an auto report is you can kind of just do a save as the CSV data right there and you can save the file on your desktop uh, anywhere. It's gonna default to the name you chose. So with those two options, you can create your report, set it to go on a schedule, make sure everyone that needs the data that's in there gets it. Uh, I'll be honest on this one, dynamic collections are going to give this information, but uh, management or the, or the likes of that probably aren't going to be going into inventory. So you can just send the report and say, hey, here's everything you wanted to know. Uh, and just like with the dynamic collections, you can get very granular, very specific. You can find a lot of useful information that you can send out there. And that's everything you need to know about reports. Uh, for BDQ.com, I'm Jordan.